Hello? How you doing, sir? You gotta get in front of the camera. Hello. What's your name, sir? Uh, Sammy Awad. All right, sir. You have a right to remain silent. Anything that you say could be used against you in court. You have a right to be represented by an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one can be appointed to represent you. You have a right to have a hearing where you can produce witnesses and evidence on your own behalf, and you can question any witnesses or evidence that the government puts up against you. Do you understand your rights? Yes. Did you fill in a form requesting consideration for an appointed attorney? Uh, yes, that's me, yes. Raise your right hand and be sworn. Do you swear the information you put on your form is all true and correct to the best of your knowledge? Uh, yes. Very well, you can put your hand down. All right, what we need to do this evening is get a bond set for you, uh, perhaps get you an attorney appointed, and get you a court date. Okay. Uh, can you tell me how long you've lived in the Knox County area? Uh, since, I've been, since I've been born in 1998. All right, sir, you're accused of disorderly conduct and assault on a first responder. Do you understand what you are accused of? Assault? I can read you the warrant, but that's all the information I have. Do you need me to read you the warrant? When was the warrant uh, created? I can't tell you when it was created. I can read you the warrant if you want me to. So the warrant doesn't have a, a date of... Um, I can't see that part of the warrant. Now, the warrant tells when this event supposedly occurred, but I cannot okay. see the warrant that can shows the date of creation. Can you tell me the date of when this occurred? Uh, I'll just read you the warrant. We'll cover the whole thing. It says, uh, this incident occurred on or about Friday, July 22nd, 2022, at 0920 at 9352 Park West Boulevard. Oh, it happened um, in the hospital? I can just hospital. read the warrant, sir. I see. I see. I understand. Uh, I understand. It says on July 2nd, or 22nd, at approximately 0920 hour, Sammy Awad committed the offense of assault in violation of TCA 3913116, in which he pushed this officer and grabbed items on this officer's duty rig and pulled, injuring this officer from being taken to the ground due to his aggressive behavior. This officer yes. responds to 911 calls for emergencies that occur on the premises of Park West Medical Center. That's yes. what the warrant says. Uh, yeah, that's, yes, that's, uh, that's all fine. I was sick you, at the You don't time. need to make any comments as to that warrant. Remember, okay, you've got the right to be silent. I know, I'm just telling you I was sick. I was in the hospital being treated for my mental uh, illness. I um, understand. Oh, um, but as for the, is there evidence like camera evidence? Like, is there a camera? There should be a camera at all times. And Sir, all I have is piece of paper. I don't even have a piece of paper. All I get is a warrant. Okay, I got it. Sorry, I'll I'm not silent. an investigator. I'm not a district attorney. Yeah, I'll remain silent. Those are things you need to speak with your attorney about.
All right, sir, I'm going to set your bond on each one of these cases at $250. So your total bond is $500. You can make this through a bonding company. I'm going to appoint the public defender's office to represent you in this matter. There's a $50 assessment associated with that appointment. That should be paid to the clerk's office on or before August 21st. If you're not able to take care of that by August 21st, more than likely it'd be added on as part of your court cost. I'm going to schedule your case for August the 7th, that's Tuesday. That'll be in misdemeanor court for a bond hearing. If you've not made bond at that time, your attorney will be able to talk to the judge, present evidence to show why your bond should be reduced or uh, eliminated altogether. Uh, if you have made bond, you need to be sure and be there or they'll issue an attachment and that will forfeit the bond money that you've already posted. So be sure you're there uh, Tuesday at 830 in misdemeanor court. Do you have any questions, sir? Tuesday, 830 at um, Tuesday. Mis can, can misdemeanor I make court. Okay. Can I make bond right now? Is that possible? Sure. Or if the bonding company's out there, you can make bond right now. Okay, so they're closed right now. Is the, the... I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. It's uh, I'm not closed, so I don't know why they would be. Okay, I just I just need to uh, make a phone call to get the to get the money. Um, if you guys, now, I, I have no control over their telephone policies over there. That's uh, something that the sheriff's department deals with. They'll uh, let you make a call. Believe me, they're uh, they'll be happy to uh, let you go as soon as possible. Any other questions? Um, so my total bond is five hundred dollars. Yes, sir. To 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 get out. And to be free from jail, I have to pay five hundred dollars from no. Now. If your bonding company will bond you out for about seventy five dollars, I think seventy five dollars. Yeah. Oh, I can make that ten percent plus yeah, some I kind can... of service fee. Okay. Yeah. I just uh, I can make the payment. I just need to get a ride home somehow. That's all. That's all I need to figure out. I understand. They'll let you make a phone call here after yonder, I expect. Okay. Don't call your girlfriend at one o'clock in the morning. I won't. I uh, don't have one. She would be Thank grumpy. All right. You're Thank good. Thank you very much. Thank you.
I get the chair for right now. All right. That's all I've got for you, sir. Very well. Have a good one. See you at three. What do you got? Can I approach? Say, uh, no, don't don't approach yet. Vehicular homicide DUI search warrant. Oh, oh boy. Let me get my protect you from this cancer I got. Yes, sir. Can I approach? Yeah, now you can come up. Nineteen oh four. Whereabouts is that on Broadway? It's what right where the Hall of Fame ramp starts. It's right from the Kenja Short Plaza. Right there, close to the funeral home. Yeah, it's close to it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Just a little bit north of it. Head split open and his brain's exposed. But he's so still able to talk a little bit. And that's the person that uh, wasn't dead. We'll probably have his actual charger then.
What's the condition of the other pedestrian that got struck? 91. I'm sorry, she's deceased. Deceased. There you be. You need to make a copy. There's a Xerox machine right over there. Oh, thanks, sir. Appreciate it. Take care.